going through settings on PC for those of you that are trying to optimize their settings and you know get a little bit of an edge just uh, based on frame rate and just overall having the perfect settings to actually play the game. So first I'm going to go through general. We'll be talking about some basic things. Drone after prep. You want that on manual so you can you know stay on the camera if you want to if you choose to. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. that's it in that. You go to HUD, I have it on custom simplified, just to make it a little bit smaller. Otherwise it's going to be pretty huge and bulky. It might take up some of your screen. Audio, music, I mean, turn down, that's up to you. But night mode over hi-fi, night mode makes quiet sounds louder and loud sounds quieter. So footsteps are gonna be a little bit louder than uh, if it wasn't turned on display i have mine set to 1080 not not a big deal there uh siege doesn't really support 1440 as well as 360 so i have 360 1080 um aspect ratio is honestly up to you but most people either use 1610 or 43 if you're gonna go 1610 83 84 or 90 fov if you're gonna go 43 83 84 or 90 fov i'm running 43 90 FOV personally. V Sync off for sure. Here's all that for you guys. Graphics. So, not much to say here. I have my graphics turned on a little bit more because I do have a 4080 and I want it to look a little bit nicer, but it is still set pretty low because I want to really optimize those frames. The only ones that should really be on shadow quality have that at least in medium. There's a lot of times in uh, Siege where shadows are going to help you net a kill. Highly suggest turning that on. Everything else here, you guys can copy or go through. This is what I have. I can show you guys the benchmark right now. Here are the benchmarks for how my game is running. I have, you know, 3 to 160 FPS monitor. If you are having trouble with frames, we are going to go through some other settings that you guys can go through to uh, optimize your frames considerably. Controls, I mean, teach their own. I have 5.5. Five. Uh, you know, horizontal, vertical, mouse, ADS, here's this. 1X, I have 40, 2.5, I have 50. That's what I like, to each their own. I'll be going through a couple settings on showing you guys how to find your sensitivity as well. That's pretty much it. All right, now we're gonna take you through to how to find your perfect sensitivity. So, pillar one, two, and three. So, and when you put your mouse in the middle of your mouse pad, you should be able to do about a full 180 and maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less on your mouse pad. So you should be able to do about a 180. So that's just for your overall sensitivity. So now going through this one, two, one, three, one, two, one, three, one, two, one, three, and then one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So if you feel like you're really having to push to one, then you may try to wanting to upgrade your sense, increase your sense a little bit. If you feel like you're like kind of struggling to really get to that beam, because there's a lot of situations we are going to have to go from boom, boom, boom. There's not many situations you're going to have to go from here to there, but it is nice to work on that in case you do need to. Like my one, two is going to be a lot more accurate than my one, three, but you do want to work on your one, three. And if you feel like you're going way too far and having to double back, try lowering your sense. It's going to be overall better for you in Siege. There's no perfect sensitivity. It's like saying, what's the perfect shoe size? What's the perfect height? Everyone's going to be different. Everyone uses something differently. So now working on sensitivity, we're going to go through this small ball training for medium range, random speed, simulate, you know, aim training and siege and shooting at targets that are moving at, at different speeds based on different ranges. There's no real high score you're trying to go for here. You're just trying to beat your own previous scores so you get a general idea of what your baseline is. And it will help you get used to your aim. And you can use this to warm up for ranked and whatnot. All right, soldier, keep it going. Right, a little bit 
fast Good there. Queen. That's first try. Got a 60. I know I'm fairly warmed up when I'm shooting around 65 to 70. helps with your first initial crosshair placement and just overall getting used to your sensitivity looking around. You're getting there. So that was 67, so I'm all warmed up, ready for ranks, and uh yeah, basically just go through that. Here are the settings if you guys want to see that in more detail. Small ball. Random, medium. I like to have infinite reload Remember, off. You can have it on just so you don't have to reload, but I like having it on just to kind of gauge, like, you know, without having to worry about the accuracy itself. I know, you know, if I'm shooting five bullets at a single ball, then I'm not gonna have those other bullets to shoot other balls, so it's going to affect my score overall. So that's why I just kind of pay attention to what the score is. My go-to when I'm ready for ranks is between 65 and 70. And you can work on this quite a bit. Do this for like like 10 minutes or so before you play ranks and your aim is going to be ready to go. Another drill you can do is the target drill, moving around the map and working on your sensitivity with your crosser placement. When you're swinging a door really quick, you don't want your crosser like this because when someone swings out, you're going to have to react to it. You want your crosser kind of out, like waiting for someone to swing. And if you are swinging, have your crosser a little bit farther out so you can react to stimuli as you see things. And swing around like so. Just walk around, have your gun up, ready for firefights. This is another way of just checking if your sensitivity is exactly what you need it to be, or if you need to change your sense. If you feel like these are hard to do, then you may have to work on your sensitivity. Go back to the other drills we showed you guys, and uh, take it from there. Take it from step one, work your way up. And uh, yeah, you just go through, do that. Pretty simple stuff, honestly. I prefer the shooting range more than doing target drill, but this is a really good way of warming up and learning the map if you are a little bit of a newer player. Learn default positions that enemies could be at as you walk around and warm up your aim. And with the endless drill coming to new blood, you'll be able to see in the bottom left how much damage the targets have done to you. So you can see like if they would have killed you or not. Always a good thing. Quick little reload. Swing, swing, swing. Check right, check left, down, down, down. Down, down, down. And that's it. Now, a couple settings that you may not know about that I know a lot of people haven't known about, don't know about, and you know, I personally had to change this after I've been playing on Siege for first, my first few months of Siege. Enhanced point of precision. This is going to be automatically on. Basically, what that does, if I move my mouse from here, it's about five inches to the right. It'll do this when it's off. But if I, if it's enhanced point of precision and it's on, if I do it faster, I'll go farther. If I do it slower, I'll go shorter. So enhanced point of precision off is the same distance every time. So you can kind of build like, you know how far one way is the other. This is gonna make it more random depending on how urgent you're moving things around. So I suggest having that off. Now, if you are having trouble with frames, one thing you can try, document my games, Rainbow Six Siege, and then you click your game application, game settings folder, FPS limit. So let's say your monitor is set to you know, it's 240 Hertz, right? So you set your FPS limit to 260 or 250 or so. I have it set to just like let it run rampant because it is 
to me better if I just let it kind of go go wild versus having a hard cap on it. But to, you know, this can fix some frame issues if you are having some issues. So again, if I was set to, if it might have a on a 240 hertz monitor, I would set it to 250 or 260. Now we're gonna go to, uh, you're gonna type in Xbox game bar. You're gonna go to your game bar settings and you're gonna go down to game mode and you're going to turn game mode on and then you're gonna go to the game bar and you're going to turn it off. This will just help optimize your PC, just getting a, a little bit more juice so you don't drop as many frames. Next, what you're gonna to wanna to do is go to graphic settings and you're going to wanna to go to Rainbow Six Siege, your application and turn it on high performance. So you get, again, a little bit more juice so you, drop, you don't drop as many frames. It's pretty simple stuff. Basically, you're optimizing your PC to make it a priority that your game is going to run a little bit better. And then you go to your power options and you go to your you know advanced settings and you go to, it'll be set to balance. You change the high performance, just to get a little bit more juice. Basically, really making sure that your game has enough FPS. Again, all these extra settings, you don't need to do every single one of these. Just, you know, change one and see, do a run a benchmark and see how your game is running. If it's running well, you don't need to do anything else. But this is just for the people that may be struggling with their rigs and getting the right frames for the monitor. Again, you don't need more FPS than what your monitor provides. You don't need 500 FPS. If your monitor is a 144, it makes no sense. So for the next part, you go to your Siege application, go to properties, Disable full screen optimizations. I have that on. And then, you know, here's my NVIDIA control panel. I'll just show you guys what I have. So you guys can either copy it or use a couple things. But, you know, I'll just scroll through this so you guys can see what I have enabled. Pause if you're like, you know, going through this and are trying to change it for yourself. Again, this will make your game look a little bit worse, but it'll run a little bit nicer and you won't be dropping nearly as many frames. And then the final part, you're going to go adjust image settings with preview. You're going to lower the bar all the way down to performance. Again, makes the game look a little bit worse, but your frames are gonna look a really whole lot better. So <laughs> that's what it's all about. So just another quality of life thing. You go to startup apps and you can go through and disable things that you do not want to just boot up when your game is just starting up so you can go through here and click all the things that you don't want to instantly turn on you know when your computer is launching because it does take away from your game a little bit when you have like let's say 50 applications something that you may not know are open this could you know fix all of your issues all right guys that's it today on pc settings so really just wanted to hammer the point of finding your sensitivity how to increase your aim how to practice your aim, and then going through settings to make your game look as good as possible while also running as smooth as possible. So all these settings, I highly suggest if you guys have any other issues and have any other like problems, let me know down below in the comments. I can try to help you out or find someone that, that knows. With all my settings, I had help from like professional like PC optimizers. I've gone through a lot of things. And so I kind of know what settings are going to be pretty good. So let me know if you guys have any questions about that. And uh, good luck and ranked. All right, guys, make sure to subscribe, drop a comment, leave a like down below for more. I know I've done a couple settings videos, but this is specifically because New Blood is like literally a week away. And I wanna make sure I have all my setting videos out prior to the new season, because I know I'm gonna get these questions a lot when the new season drops. So I wanna have a resource to show these people, you know, hey, this is a new video, new setup, this is what you should do. Anyways, guys, peace out. Until next time.